Hello from Myrtle Beach. Today we are going to take you on the free entertainment express by Coastal RTA. It's Myrtle Beach's free entertainment shuttle. We're going to take a ride on it and also talk about all of the stops. It's a great way that you can get from the beach, which is right in front of me, from your hotel or resort, all the way to all the entertainment that Myrtle Beach has to offer. Or if you're staying inland, it's a way that you can get to the beach. Hi, I'm Carmen. If you're new here, we cover everything in Myrtle Beach and the surrounding area. If you're a return viewer, welcome back. We're so glad to have you with us. Here comes the bus. So it's out of service. Hopefully it is in service. It's really cute. It's sort of a trolley style bus. Here's the entrance. And here is what the bus looks like on the inside. And it is nice and air conditioned. It feels great because the heat index today is very, very, very warm. And away we go. So I started at their first stop, which is right here at Family Kingdom Amusement Park. If you're interested in more information about Family Kingdom, we have a full video of that on our channel. To find anything on our channel, all you have to do is go to YouTube, search for Carmen and Brian Myrtle Beach, and then put in the attraction you'd like to find, such as Family Kingdom, and it will come right up. So that's the ocean right over there. So we're going to get a nice little tour of Ocean Boulevard while we talk about this. This is the next stop in front of the Sandy Resort, Sandy Beach. And I want to talk a little bit about the shuttle itself. The shuttle is free at the time of this recording. There's no charge. And the shuttle runs from the day after Memorial Day to Labor Day. So it starts the day after Memorial Day through Labor Day. Again, at the time of this recording, always check their website. I will link their website in the description below. Also, they are running from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. daily. So there's a lot of advantages to this shuttle. Like I mentioned, you can get to attractions, you can get to the beach if you're not staying on the beach, but also it gives you some flexibility if you want to go out at night and have a good time. You don't have to worry about driving home to your hotel. So all kinds of advantages to this system. And I, I gotta say, it's really nice. This is the first time I've actually been on it. I've seen it many a time but I have not ridden it. And this is a nice, super air conditioned environment. Uh, really, really pleasant. And so you're getting to see Ocean Boulevard go by as we drive down. I want to mention their website because they have real time tracking on their website where you can see where the bus is. So if you are waiting on the Entertainment Express shuttle, you can pull up your phone, pull up their website and watch and see exactly where the bus is. I knew exactly when she was going to drive up. I could see the bus coming on the little, um, I don't know what you would call it, tracker, real time tracker they have. They also have a static map that shows you all the stops. The website lists the stops when the bus is running, but when the bus is not running, it does not list a whole list of all the stops so I will include that in the description below so that you can see a full list just scroll down in the description it will be towards the bottom of the description and you'll be able to see every place that they stop so I want to talk about a few of the highlights obviously they stop at a ton of the resorts that are here along Ocean Boulevard so here's what Ocean Boulevard looks like we also have a lot of driving videos that show Ocean Boulevard a little better if you'd like to see that and we cover everything that's new. There's Sharky's Ocean Front Restaurant that we're going by right now. We're getting close to the Central Boardwalk area. So that is actually one of the stops. It, uh, you know, we start with Family Kingdom, then they have the Skywheel in the Central Boardwalk area. Uh, so that's a great place for entertainment. So if you're staying in a hotel that's not right on the boardwalk, you can get to it with this free shuttle. So that's definitely a nice perk. And also, they stop at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center. So if you're here for a convention, but you'd rather stay at Ocean Front, that's an option. And they stop at the Myrtle Beach Sports Complex. They also stop at Ripley's Aquarium and Broadway at the beach. That's, that's the same place Ripley's is at Broadway at the beach. As you can see, we're getting here to the central boardwalk area. There's the ocean right there. So, I mean, this is actually a nice scenic drive to to get an idea of everything in Myrtle Beach if it's your first time visiting. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, definitely click on the thumbs up. That helps other people find our videos. And also, if you'd like to learn more about Myrtle Beach and the surrounding area, definitely hit subscribe because we cover everything in Myrtle Beach and the surrounding area, including this free shuttle. 
So next we are going to talk about the additional attractions that they stop at. So I just wanted to point out that we're at the um, boardwalk. So they also stop at the Wax Museum. They stop at the Broadway Grand Prix. They also stop at the Helicopter Adventures. The Ripken Experience. They also stop at Myrtle Waves Water Park. There's Fun Plaza, that's a lot of fun, hence the name. It's a arcade. We always enjoy it. We have a video on that too if you'd like to check that out on our channel. They stop at the Pelican Stadium and they also stop at Mount Atlanticus Mini Golf. And a few of these attractions I mentioned we do have videos of. Uh, if we don't link them in the description, you can again, you can just search for them. We have the Skywell, we have the Boardwalk, we have Ripley's Aquarium, we have Broadway at the Beach. We also have the Myrtle Waves Water Park. So, and we've got different mini golf, we've got all kinds of things. So you can definitely look for those if you'd like more information. Uh, but I think this is just a great, great offering that they have here in the city of Myrtle Beach. Also, I do want to mention they offer this a similar shuttle that's free in North Myrtle Beach. So that's definitely an option. There's Plyler Park there. So this is the Skywell. I know it's hard to see, but we're right, right at the base of the Skywell here. If I can get a, a better shot right over here of the Skywell. And so this is one of the stops for the Skywell. So there's so much to see and do here in Myrtle Beach, and this covers a lot of the main entertainment as well as a lot of the hotels. Both Oceanfront, but it also stops at some hotels. Again, you can look in the description for all the stops. It also stops at some hotels that are inland, and so it's a great way to get to the beach or to some of this entertainment that is on the beach. And get a, get a really good view of the area while you're doing it. So have you ridden this free entertainment shuttle? Let us know in the comments below. Did you even know about it? Let us know that in the comments below. And if you haven't ridden it, is this something you would do? Is this something that you would take advantage of uh, on your trip to Myrtle Beach? It definitely would be great for those of you who fly in and don't have a car. I mean, what a great way to get around and see and do some things. Um, just keep the hours in mind. Again, it's 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. You won't be going out early uh, and being able to catch the bus, but uh, it's definitely something that is really, really helpful uh, during those hours. And like I said, gives you that flexibility to go out at night and enjoy yourself without having to worry about driving back. And also, if you're just from out of town, it's a great way to get around and you don't have to worry about getting lost or trying to figure out where you're at or just driving in the heavy Myrtle Beach traffic. Uh, during the summer season, there is a lot of traffic here, and if you're not used to driving, here's a good shot. Oh, by the way, the spot that we're passing, this is going to be the, it's been announced, you know, something could happen to it, but right now, that is the proposed location for the new Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville Resort. So if you are a Jimmy Buffett fan, uh, we do have a planned resort oceanfront. Uh, coming to the Myrtle Beach area, so that's something exciting. And we cover news like that and other news in our other Myrtle Beach videos, like when we do our Ocean Boulevard Drive videos and that kind of thing. So, like I said, you can definitely check out that type of information on our channel. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the video that's on your screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.